Uh, Lucas? Okay. Uh, it seems as if you, you stated it explicitly one way and, and then explained it another way also. Um, and so I'm going to try and put them together and see if I'm understanding correctly. Um, a following law kind of leads us in, expresses to us what gratitude is, and then results in a sweeter experience of um, our communion with Christ. But then it's also true that uh, our gratitude drives us in our obedience to the law. So, it, I mean, is there kind of a both and? Yeah. Um, did, I, did I get that yeah, correctly from what you were no saying? Objection. I think that's a fair summary of what I said. There's a bit of a virtuous circle going on. We're thankful, so we do it, and we do it, and that teaches us how to be more thankful. And Yeah, so the more we love Christ, the more we want to obey His commands. The more we obey His commands, the more it fuels love for Christ. And so those things do uh, operate in that kind of symbiotic kind of relationship there. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay, Alan, up here, comment. Um, these terms, um, oh, what a fluke that was, or what a coincidence, how fortunate I am, wasn't that ironic, or this just happened. You know, I find myself using these terms, and I read recently, uh, because I don't tell you why, I don't want to sound pious or holier than thou, especially around the unbeliever, and uh, it's... Uh, I, I'm ashamed because I, I've read recently these are expressions of atheism and ingratitude for our God and His marvelous grace in leading and guiding all things through His sovereignty. And, you know, I just wanted to express that because it's very important we don't use these terms. Now, I think just finding little ways, so even if you're writing a text or an email, if you're interacting with somebody, find something to be grateful for and be specific about it. You know, I, I am grateful that you took time uh, to help us out of UBS. I know you've got a lot going on in your family. So just be very intentional by just saying, I know this is coincidental we met, but I'm so grateful because he gave me an opportunity to hear how you do it. And just, just try to be deliberate in the way you speak kind of words of things. I think that's a good word. Okay, we're going to take a, uh, a short break, 10 minutes maybe. Uh, we will see if I can. You know how hard it was to take a 15-minute break. I'm saying be very intentional in your break. If you have something to do, do it, and then we're going to gather immediately back here, and I'll be uh, winking the, the lights pretty soon. We need the professors, all the ones who have lectured or are making presentations. We need you up front immediately as we begin the break. So anybody making a presentation today up front for a picture, everybody else in and out, and we'll get started again. Uh, Barry?